Hi, welcome to Solid Edge 2023 video tutorial. It's another one of my basic part design exercises, a simple rod. I've made a drawing, so let's take a look at the drawing. Here it is, and you could make a screenshot and then follow this exercise step by step if you want. So let's have fun with Solid Edge. Okay, let's start with a sketch on the front plane. So go for a sketch on that plane. I need two rectangles. One, two. And this should be 18. That should be 20. This distance should be 45. That distance here should be 17.5. And that distance here should be 80. Let's drag this over here and then go for a trim. I want to trim this here. Now I want this to be symmetric, so go for symmetric. This should be the symmetry line and those two should be symmetric. And again, those two as well. Great. Let's add a point. And the point should sit right here. And the distance from that line to this point here should be 15. Okay. Close that sketch. Let's make an extrude. That's the sketch. And I want it to be symmetric, yes. And the distance should be 80. Finish. Cancel this out. I need two rounds of fillets. So go for a round. 15 millimeter on this edge and on that edge. And confirm. Preview. Finish. Cancel this out. OK, let's add a hole. So go for the hole command. Select that face, then put this onto that point, and it should be a simple one, and the diameter should be 12, and it should go through next. That's OK. Put it right there. Close that sketch. Finish this. Cancel this out. Now let's mirror that solid here, or body. So go for mirror, I want to mirror, copy the part. That's the body. And the plane would be this plane here. Finish, cancel this out. Next I want to split that solid. Let's go for split. That split command should be right here. Yes, there you go. Split. I want to split this body here. Let's go take a look at the options. Create multiple design bodies. That's OK. And the tool would be this plane here. And confirm. Which gives me finish. Cancel this out. Two bodies. Let's make this one the active one. Uh, 
and I want to rotate it. Okay, so let's go to move faces and then rotate faces. I want to rotate the body. Yes, that's the body. Confirm and the axis would be this one here. By geometry, by points, yeah, I need a line to rotate it because I can't Oh yeah, I can. I can select this one here. Great. And now I want to rotate it by 90 degrees. And confirm. Finish. Cancel this out. Now let's unite those two. So make this the active body. And go to, that should be here, add there's a union and I want to select this as target and the tool would be of course this one here and confirm finish cancel this out next I need a sketch on the right plane I suppose let's go for a sketch on this plane and I need a polygon a hexagon Let's see where we have, there you go, polygon, six sides, yes, just draw it maybe like that. Doesn't really matter, like this. Then align one of these horizontal, that one here, and then add a dimension from this line to that line and the distance should be 50. Okay. Now I could add a point here, but I think I cannot use it afterwards, but I can add that point anyway. Doesn't really matter, so let's put a point right there. Why not? And close that sketch. Finish, cancel this out. I want to add a body, so let's go here, add a body, confirm, and I want to make an extrude with that sketch here, confirm, make it maybe 150, that should do, finish, cancel this out. Now I want to intersect that body with this body, so go for intersect target would be this one and tool will be this one here confirm finish cancel this out and now i need another hole and this should be mirrored in order to make that counterboard hole i need another plane so let's go for a parallel plane, parallel to this one here, and the distance might be 30 millimeter. Then I want to do a sketch on that plane, because I need a sketch point. So I can use that point. No construction, but maybe I could put a point right on this one. Let's see. But it's in the center, so I could do with a point here. Anyway, confirm that. Sketch, finish, cancel this out. And now go for... Let's hide that sketch for a whole account of board one. So where's my whole tool? There you go. Options. It should be a counter board one. It could th go, go through next or to select it through all from to finite extent. 
let's go through next that should do go through all go through all and this should be 16 that diameter diameter should be 30 and the depth should be 30 minus 17 that's 13 millimeter and let's go for millimeter that's okay that's okay and okay now select that plane and that point here finish this here it should go in that direction finish cancel and now let's mirror that feature so i want to mirror copy feature the feature would be that hole here the plane would be of course this one here finish and let's take a look looks good and i'm done so i hope this was helpful hope you liked it if you did like it please give it a like or leave a, co leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel that would really help you could follow me also on GrabCat, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and many more. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.